Greetings all in the most beautiful name of Jesus Christ. The question posed is, how can I personally contribute to the rebuilding of my campus's altar? This question not only stands on the belief that the godly altars of our campuses can indeed be reestablished, but it also nudges that as individuals, we have a role to play and not any role but a valid role. Now to answer the question, the very first way I or even you can attempt to be an effective spiritual carpenter, mason, or construction worker to rebuild an altar is that we must first acknowledge there has been a breaking down of our altars and there is an urgent need to rebuild. We must acknowledge that due to neglect or poor management per se of the spiritual sites, the campuses that we have been given, we have allowed the thief, the adversary to ravage and destroy. We must personally come face to face with the fact that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but the campus on which we stand is a hostile spiritual environment and we must be violent and take back our altars by force. After acknowledging all of this, we must repent. Personally, we all have struggles. But a review of the Bible would tell us, would show us that every victorious person who followed God had to acknowledge their flaws and hand them over to God. God looks for transparency in our individual lives. He cannot heal what we conceal. We cannot hide from God. He is looking for a man, for a woman who would step away from the shadows of hypocrisy. After all, Jesus was never a fan of the Pharisees. We must confess, we must release, and we must allow forgiveness to bring the grace, the peace, and the liberty we will need to rebuild. What's next? The very next thing is for us to get dressed. Yes, I said it. We must get dressed. We must put on the whole armor of God. The thing is, in rebuilding, our spirit is fighting and it is fighting many strong influences of which if we are underdressed, if we are underprepared, we will become overwhelmed. So we must take unto ourselves the helmet of salvation. We must be protected by the breastplate of righteousness. We must put on the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace. We must securely fasten unto ourselves the belt of truth. We must raise up the shield of faith. We must grasp with confidence the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And after you, after I have done all of this, we must not forget to pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watch with all perseverance. Who will weep over the souls of the campuses? Who will plant the seed of love and water with evangelism and fellowship? Who is willing to be one who turns their campus upside down in the name of Jesus Christ? I can do that. You can do that. God searched for one man. He searched for just one man who would build up the wall and stand on behalf of the land so he would not have to destroy it. But he found no one. As God, as God searches today for one man, for one woman, may we individually say, here I am, Lord, send me. He is the God that answers by fire. But there is no fire for us to see with broken down altars. Spiritual builders, I call for you to arise. I call for the builders to arise and to build in Jesus' name. I have a role to play. You have a role to play. Let us rebuild the broken altars. God bless you.